Hello everybody, welcome to round two of the Blood Bowl Super League. We're in Group B, we've got Hiru with his Dwarves versus Olivier Dulac with his Skaven. And let me just see what the colours are like. Uh, oh god, no, we're not, we're not using their default colours, we're using red and blue. Uh, in the booth with me is Kfog, or how you want to pronounce his name, Kor... Uh, Korfu. Korfu, there you go. Thank you very much. Hello, how are you, sir? Um, well, and good evening, little wrestlers, not at least. Glorious. Absolute legend of Blood Bowl. Uh, hasn't, hadn't played Blood Bowl 3 for a long time. Basically at all, right? Otherwise, of course, he would have been in. But, um, you know, an absolute legend. Tabletop, Fumble, Blood Bowl 2. All round. Biggest brain. Biggest, loveliest person you could meet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also to drive engagement we have to ask a question and it is what what was the question I've forgotten oh here we go if you could be the coach or if you had to be the coach of any Blood Bowl team which one would it be and why there you go <laughs> a legend with bunny ears yeah obviously definitely has those bunny ears in real life um, definitely <laughs> So, yeah, interesting, interesting. He's gone for a very light dwarf team, right? He's got two runners and two troll slayers. So, four AV8 is a little bit uh, not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Um, <laughs> and so, he's got mighty blow, but not on tackle, but it's okay because he, he gets to pound on the line rats, doesn't he? Uh, oh, and he gets knuckle dusters. Oh my god, that's sick, isn't it? So, he gets a mighty blow tackle for the drive. For the match! Wait, what? Knuckle Dusters is for the match? It is. Oh, that's insane. It is. <laughs> oh, my God. It's um, it's a, most of the King of results I have been fine those, but Knuckle Dusters is definitely not. <laughs> that's, that's completely fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, yeah. <laughs> for the match? I mean, it's it's maybe a forty TV skill for the whole match. That's that's crazy. I'm oh, just well. right dead. Instant death. Um, okay, the the mighty blow didn't matter, but um, <laughs> wow, that is absolutely yeah, brutal. That is um, a huge swing, isn't it? That is a huge swing. Yeah, but it's, it and it plays into what the dwarves need to do is get rid of all the stupid line rats, and they can get to the god of runners. Yeah. So now his Which team build one? looks amazing, right? Because he probably only needs five guard, and now he's got two mighty boys. <laughs> he's suddenly he's suddenly dwarves in a lower tier. That's just incredible, getting an extra mighty blow. <laughs> yeah. Any thoughts on the Skaven team? You're you're more. I know you're not really a Skaven person, but you're more of a Skaven person than I am. <laughs> I, I, I was planning to play Skaven in. Um... At, in, in 2020 because it, they're so strong mm. but the problem is as soon as you have a game like this you better off stop playing Blood Bowl with this boring as F yeah. so I couldn't be asked I really couldn't fair enough yeah just yeah. lie down one turn and then win two yeah, I hope your one turn works and then have enough players for the second half in your drive yeah. it's basically the game which is it's really not a sexy way of having to play Blood Bowl no, no, that's fair enough. Um, so I kind of um, decided not to play Skaven because of that. I was supposed to play him at the World Cup. Um, I personally like Guard Stormwomans with the Juggernaut. Mm. Just because that plays even better into that. Yeah. Um, but it's hard to argue against taking one Mighty Blow because just that bit of attrition. Yeah. The problem I always have with the Mighty Blow guy is, um, you know, if I've got a big guy, I've got my big guy for, like, the brainless Mighty Blow hit, if, if yeah. that's what I want. Uh, but maybe I undervalue Mighty Blow in, like, NAF style. I do. Yeah. I definitely do. Um, I definitely undervalue it. Because, mm. you know, Str Strider took Mighty Blow on one of his war dancers for, the, uh, yeah. you know, for this tournament. Rather interesting. Super interesting. Yeah, it's... 
it, it is nice when it works, but it does feel so. Th those games where nothing happens, where you just. Oh, he's tagged a, tagged a runner, tagged this lineman from behind, tagged yeah, these two with a rogue. It was a bit. It was a quite offensive uh, with that deep kick. Yeah. With those two, got two guards, long beards all the way in, in this game in backfield already. Yeah, where's That's this one going? I did seem a, a bit. Oh, he's cut corners. Oh my god, he's really going for it. Wow. I get it, if he want to stop him, this is. <laughs> a, if, but if the dwarf gets to consolidate, I can see it. If you want to go. If you want to stop I the golf, so you fucking obsessed with rats that you, you want to do it now. Oh yeah, for sure. Like the like destabilization three, four, five, phase. With the team. Yeah. You just One, two, more three, four, rats. five, six. You can double G if I can get here, and he can rats. maybe Jesus. beat off the yeah. roger. I think with there, all the guard, he should be able to do stuff. Oh wow! Blitzing the sidestepper gets the big pal. I mean, that was huge, wasn't it? Like I'd want to blitz the sidestepper too, right? Because you don't want to get wrestled. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the the runner can just hit the side hit the non side stepper. But um or he can just he can, doesn't even need to hit right, he can just go around. And then like maybe he's one GFI. One or two anyway. And then he should be alright. Yeah. But let's let's I mean he's not some more hitting it. first. Yeah. Oh well, there's another removal. Maybe he just goes here and then moves back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't, he got time. Because he picked both the ball up. So. And he got the stun. Because he got the stun as well, right? He can just go yeah. here. And pull. Pull back. That's probably the best bet. How did the dwarves get this long? Yeah, he went really narrow. And, uh, and then obviously Livy did like try to... Uh, Exploit that coming around the edges. <laughs> How many times will super interesting be said? Drink each time it happens and post how many drinks you have, Dan. Oh, that's pretty good. And of course, yes, I chose Amazon for which teams I would coach because it's just objectively the correct answer, isn't it? Why on earth would you pick anything except Amazon's to coach? Yeah, good. <laughs> if they were real, like if Blood Bowl was real. <laughs> it's got less to do with how good they would be at Blood Bowl. <laughs> and, 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 but it's still nice winning at the same time, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blood Bowl isn't real. I oh, know it's still real to what? me, damn it. <laughs> Is it not? Apparently not, no. <laughs> so this it feels very real. <laughs> So this freeze is a uh, slayer, doesn't it? So yeah, the slate can come back, the line open can come back, and then he can have an X cage. And to no surprise, going in turn 16. <laughs> oh my god, he casts him. What the... okay. And there's no This game path. might actually be done before my bedtime in this way. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, he's and not. He's, he's not ex caging. What? The? Oh, he's going uh, just wide away from everyone. So even if, if they manage to do something, hopefully for him they cannot actually do stuff. Mm. It was probably not glorious. what I had done. No, I won't give no, in. No, I, I, I like just ex caging. That's, that's a three plus gap. He needs to dodge, dodge that runner now. Yeah. Hi, PTK. Oh See no, that's a long beard. Where can that long beard go? That's the, the other mighty bluff. Yeah, you could go here, and that really solidifies. But did have been. Oh, wrestle? Or does Why? He... Do... Well, no, I guess he, does... he... he just takes the knockdown, doesn't he? So does he have to reroll? me, yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not easy to get to him, to be fair. No, but even he... he's rerolling it and mm. gets to pass. <laughs> And another removal? <laughs> oh god. Oh, sometimes Blood Bowl is unfair. <laughs> mm. And then he just puts him on the cutter. Yeah, this is looking pretty. I mean, 4 plus 3 plus for a 1D. <laughs> Woo! Hmm. 
it's not great, is it? He went, he went kind of all in, and then got, you know, two, he'd already had a player killed, and then he got two players KO'd, and yeah, good recovery by Hiru, to be fair. Rolled well, certainly. Certainly rolled well. Two, two removals, two stuns, and one of the removals being a Kaz Droga. Holy moly. Yeah, he does go for the 4-3. Fails the dodge. I guess he's going to keep the two rerolls for the one turn. Without a roger, which is a bit shit, isn't it? Going to struggle to get the 2Ds. And now he gets to... Uh... I guess you just mighty blow Blitz with a Slayer this turn, because he's like, you know... But Frenzy's better, and then try to get... Yeah, a right. long beard onto the, onto a gut runner somehow. <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> or right, maybe just base the, the guy or something. Oh, right in between all that, I completely missed Rolex. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic for thirty-eight glorious months over three years. Nine and a half beaver pregnancies. Be hello, PTK, says Rolex. Oh, well, he didn't actually say hi, PTK. <laughs> See you at TTC. And um, a massive raid from Andy Dave. Or... Oh, baby. Hello, Kale on the third. And hello, Dave or Raiders. Oh. And the world. And uh, yeah, big cows here. Man. The legend himself. The man with the big bunny ears. <laughs> I like it. I like I'm still on on your side as the stream cha champ. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's from ages ago. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's fair enough. That you makes can... me smile every time I uh, click on your channel, though. <laughs> cool. Well, that's worth it then, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know who the who the champ is now. I think it was I think it was Steve Motty last time. I remember Steve being the champ, but... Uh... I was gonna, do, I was gonna change, you know, because like it's a lot of work to do. Um, it's a lot of work to do JFW, but I thought I might just do, you know, like pay per views kind of thing. Well, no, they, oh my god. Well, there we go. That's a that's a Kaz back from the rats. Is that the the use of it? Was that the scroll slayer with Mighty Blow? It was, and the apple fails. And so why did he get to? I completely missed. Why was he standing in the point where he just get hit? <laughs> I mean, he blitzed him with God. Oh my God! And this guy was standing to get hit, and he got cast. Oh my God! The knuckle dusters. He stood there to like you know try and threaten the knuckle dusters, and then instead the knuckle dusters got cast. So what a turn! Both mighty blow guys removed. The dwarves capped at ten, and all of a sudden things are looking up for Olivier de Lac. Flip me, guys. <laughs> That's the reason he's fought number one. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Casual remove, double removal turn. Flip me. Versus the, uh, at least one of them was uh, not. That's outrageous. Yeah, yeah. There was the. He's gonna. You like. You can't stop him blitzing somebody, right? But he just. He just fully based up with this mighty blow guy to try and engineer a. You know, try and force a hit later, but. I thought that was a bit greasy. I would, I would have like based the down gutter with him. Do you know what I mean? To like try and hope yeah. that I had somebody, you know, had the mighty blow to hit him uh, potentially or whatever. Or maybe just keep him next to the ball, right? You can never have too many people near the ball. You could have just, could have just kept him near the ball. But, um, well rolled. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was beginning to turn into a bit of a snooze fest. Yeah, the, the, you know, the dominant position. The release saved that. Now it would be a different kind of snooze fest. Yeah. Yeah. What a what a turn! What a turn! The Mordiel, not three dicing. Oh, because he's got the follow-up hit this way. Yeah. Mm. Which surely he will make a three D. Yeah, it will also help protecting your own player. Yep. Slightly. Gets the pow. Well. Uh, Hello, Keith. Oh, wow, Skuro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Skuro, I did. Hello, Skuro. Hello, Torek. Um, I've said this many times, Skuro, when you weren't here, that, you know, obviously, 
when Skuro was involved, he did 99% of the work and amazing carried it. And then, uh, and then what happened was when I was down, uh, you know, me doing it on my own, it was like, you know, I didn't really enjoy it, doing it that much because it was quite a lot of work, even doing it kind of half-assed my manner rather than doing it, you know, amazingly professionally like Skuro. Like Skuro was a absolute god with a JFW, absolute god, legend, unbelievable. But just doing like, just doing random storylines is hard work, like it's ridiculous. So, um... So I thought maybe it's just like the occasional, well, they, are they like PVEs or something they're called now, aren't they? Like pr premium events or something like that. They just call them. They're not t they're not pay per views anymore. But um, I might just do like you know one one JFW show a month or something. That seems a lot easier to do, doesn't it? Here we go, foul. Oh man, the foul was a bit rowdy, wasn't it? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's capped at 10 himself. Oh, no, no, he's got him. So he's capped at 11. Yeah. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And he's, you know, he's got two chances, so he's likely to be an 11. But that's a bit rowdy, that foul, isn't it? But I guess fair yeah. enough here. Dwarves are really bad shorthanded, aren't they? And they're already capped at 10. Um, so. Awful. <laughs> yeah, so if you get it... And get... and also, again, the one turn I get also get easier for each player. Yeah. You yeah. get on the ten. In my humble opinion, yeah, you'd much rather be like ten versus nine than eleven versus life. ten, right? With with, with Skaven, yeah. that's the thing, you know. Like that's why they're in insane for sevens, right? It, like it's just stupid. The less players in the pitch, the better for Skaven, like on both sides. Yeah. Um, <laughs> screw <laughs> 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 Oh dear, brilliant. <laughs> Your career end to a fucking bird, yeah. <laughs> yep, help. Finish the story! Oh man, that's it. <laughs> three, five, eight, nine. Wasn't it three, five, eight, nine? Is it, or is it just three, five, eight now? Or is it three five eight nine? Because I remember there was there was a time you were talking three five eight nine. It's always been I know it's always been three five eight, but there wasn't there a brief period where you were considering being three five eight nine? <laughs> Did that never happen? <laughs> gets the follow up hit here, doesn't he? If, whatever it is, but yeah, the power gets him into there. Lovely stuff. Is that another one? No, no. surely not. Nah. Gets a three D here though. Or a gang foul. Doesn't make it a 3D. So I guess it's Doesn't a, matter if you just roll enough sixes. Yep. So we're going for a huge gang foul, I guess. Eh? Surely if you foul before you foul again. Yeah. Weeps are never to be trusted. <laughs> oh. Thick skull oh, doing the business. Thick skull. Sexy, sexy, fix skull. <laughs> Rick's favorite skill. <laughs> yeah, this is a good illustration of why I don't find it funny playing Skaven. Yeah, <laughs> because there's like he's better off not engaging and just trying to kill those three guys yeah. where he has a advantage in the five. Yeah, I've I've never enjoyed Skaven. Same kind it's of reason. just I've just thought they were so good, and then I thought this is just. It's good in a boring way. Yeah. Tick skull. So he's going to try and defend it with just three, and then bring two more guys in the fight. I wouldn't take the troll slayer. I really no. wouldn't. No, oh, he's okay. running away. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Then. I think that's more sensible. Just the way yeah. he positioned, I thought he was only going to try and defend that many. Oh, so if he leaves it too open, then we risk him uh, disengaging and going for it. Exactly. Yeah, they can just they can just switch, can't they? I remember I remember beating. I mean, it's slightly slightly different, but I remember beating Malmia one time because uh, I had like high elves or something. Doesn't high elves? I think high elves. And I'd like you know totally run away like 
over here and he had the ball there stalling and then like you know he's bashing and fouling and whatever and then all of it was like you know I just realised one turn you know he just left it a bit too undefended maybe he you know there was two or three whatever and I was like oh wait a minute and just the whole team goes over and it's like oh <laughs> draws are so slow and he can't do anything and you know obviously these aren't as mobile as L's but they could definitely just all be like this turn right turn six he could get himself a, t a two turn effort here or like all these players could move up couldn't they and all of a sudden um, you know it's going to be hard for here at Stall, another turn. Ooh. Not, not with that, though. Well, I guess he's not going to go and try and pressure the Stall now. Oh, dear. Reroll? Oh. Mm, how many rerolls do you have? He had two. I'm not crazy about that. No, I don't like that either. Man, he, this could have been so much better for him, right? He could have got two knockdowns, and then he would have had another player, and uh, yeah. he would have had like six players to go and push. The but score. he has been. I don't think he's much to complain about. <laughs> oh no, no, no! But I mean, it, like he could have really pressured the stall there, couldn't he? Just randomly yeah. after like giving up the drive. <laughs> he can still give, kind of. Yeah. I hate just getting this guy served. Oh no, it's a line. I'm not sure I lie. Oh, is that a blitzer though? I cannot recognize. Is that a blitzer in the front? Um, there's a blitzer there. Yeah, two runners. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it gets the power. Who cares? The power, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. But yeah, I was not crazy with, um, with Huru bringing more dwarves to uh, the fight. It's paid off for him though, hasn't it? That random base just got his guy killed. I, was, yeah. I don't like this pressure. This pressure is like shit pressure, like three players. Yeah, if you don't do it proper, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. You can just blitz with a slayer even, right? I'm, to get why, off the why, side line. Like, yeah. And also, what's his sidestep got a runner as well? Yeah, that was weird round and not like that. That was a bit wacky, but I guess... It, Mm. Having both that and Rado grow off makes the one turn off a lot harder. Yeah, now now the reroll looks better than it <laughs> looks better than it was. But then, if he hadn't rerolled it, he wouldn't have had his he wouldn't have lost his side to death. <laughs> Funnily uh, enough. Uh, uh. But yeah, like if, if he could have come and pressured with six players, I didn't mind yeah. going for the pressure. But yeah, pressuring with three seemed a bit kind of pointless. Why doesn't take the? Doesn't surf him? Are you rudged? I think even I had probably surfed. That's crazy. Not what I would have done, but it's the Is the thrower going to go as well? Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously going to blitz this gutter, isn't he? Which is why I didn't See. blitz with a slayer. But even then, like if you leave the slayer on the uh, on the sideline, so what? I mean, oh wow, we've got to reroll this with two. Yeah, That's and you. Shoot. This <laughs> Only a stun. Only a stun. <laughs> I, like how, I like how Olivier <laughs> tries to play blood ball for a turn <laughs> and gets. Brutally punished by like three removals. <laughs> yeah. but, he didn't, but that's the thing, he didn't need to do that. He, yeah. he was absolutely fine. Yeah. Just doing this. Yeah. That was, that was like you said, it was half hearted. Yeah. It's a. Abla Matine, if anyone want uh, some entertainment, then look up uh, Art when he's gonna uh, replay that turn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna have a meltdown party. <laughs> it, it's a completely different game being online as well, and you don't know on a week like a weekday. You don't know how long people have been a weekends and stuff yeah. in the evenings. You don't know what people have been up to the rest of the days. Yeah. Wow. Um, especially weekdays. 
Yeah, yeah, it's it's fair enough, isn't it? Nobody, nobody's perfect, and you've got no idea what's happening. Yeah, but yeah, that was it was a <laughs> bit of a weird turn. It was. How many of those? Drinking heavily, yeah. If you've ever seen a Dimmy G stream, <laughs> that explains some of his more uh, <laughs> more suspect plays <laughs> quite well. Uh, what what did we get back? Um, not the <laughs> thrower, but the others. Not the thrower. Not the sidestep gutter. Uh, no, is. So he's missing everything, no. basically. Yeah, he's got nine players. Well, he's got like, he's got two gutters, three gutters. Yeah, he's got he, three gutters. But he's missing the three players he will normally prefer to have to make his one turner. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because this setup had not been doing much against if that bended York's red ogre. Yeah. It's also been fine if you had two uh, guard, guard stone women that had been helpful now instead of only one. Yeah, I was just thinking that, funnily enough, if you if you were saying it, it's like, yeah, two, two guards. Mm. The pressure of Super League? Yeah, maybe, right? There's a World Cup ticket on the line. It's uh, very exciting. The winner? Yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah. Just, just the winner. There's all that, but you know, it's uh, like that's pretty amazing, it, right? Twelve people and and one ticket. Yeah. Is it like a what is the format? Like round robin? Everyone plays everyone, or so there's two groups of six. Okay. And everybody plays everyone there, so you have like five a five game group stage, and the yep. winner of group A plays the the runner up in group B, and the okay. runner up of group A plays the winner of group B. And then you have a final after that semi-final. So uh, I actually took the, uh, you know, well, it was inspired by the Super League format, you know, that they talked about for football <laughs> for like for a few days, right before there was a massive outcry <laughs> and everyone cancelled the Super League. And I thought, well, I don't want to just have you know twelve people playing each other because like eleven weeks yeah. that gets boring, doesn't it? Like you, but it's... Football, you've got to have playoffs and stuff. But it's also, but the. I don't like Hurrier has thing to run. He has the troll slayer in the middle now, mm. and the whole metal leans towards go, probably ending up down the middle. Yeah, well, this is not particularly <laughs> useful. What Hobbsack gets? <laughs> Come on! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I wonder who he's gonna blitz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just dear, shitty. Man. Yeah, that's brutal. That's brutal. Let me and plug up the line as well, so you cannot do whole methods. Yeah, it's pretty toasted. Yeah, yeah. You can move six. <laughs> oh no, he should, he should have definitely you? got the two guards in first, right? Why? Why the fuck? Are you you cannot re-roll a boom, <laughs> yeah. double scot. If yeah. he double skull start, he's helping. Yeah, yeah. That was. Uh, oh my. Not good. God. <laughs> <laughs> but he should be okay now with a. Oh, yeah, he should be alright, shouldn't he? <laughs> Who's about to get blitzed? <laughs> Answer in the comments. Uh... It'd been hilarious. If that had been the sidestep, that would have been so funny. Oh, no. But at least that had probably forced him to move, play it proper. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I I said I said uh, on on Blood Bowl three. Um, Discord today. I said if you watch any game between like, you know, any game of Blood Bowl, but even between like two top tier players, every single game has like basic turn ordering mistakes in it. <laughs> yeah. Like just every single game ever played has like really basic mistakes. So like honestly if you just like you know, I don't know, there's there's some kind of bollocks you know, talk about things but really it's just mastering the basics is is gonna be enough for to get top of the ladder never mind you know <laughs> quite good you could easily just be top of the ladder just by basically maximizing 2d blocks and minimizing 2d blocks and doing the turn order correctly because nobody bloody does <laughs> oh that's a nice ko Whoa. if that stays out that's pretty big Yeah, the problem, the problem, you know, saying the slayers in the middle. The problem that Hiru has is his team. You know, he's got he's got two runners and uh, and he had two runs and two slayers, didn't he? So he's got like 
He kind of has to have from somewhere. Another KO! Oh my god. This could be huge. And it, th 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 they both, both stay out! Dimmy with bad analysis there. How much are you laughing at Dimmy G right now? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> but, um, wow. So it's nine versus eight? That's ridiculous, isn't it? That, like, how, how have the Skaven out bashed the dwarves after that start? That's absolutely crazy. That's it, uh, again. It takes uh, skills to be number one. Yeah. Just, uh, it's also outrageous. And funny enough, two of those players are the turn that the turn that he tried to play Blood Bowl as well. So if he hadn't got that one turn, he would have had a full eleven versus eight, and would be fully going yeah. for the win right now. If he's just been keep uh, keep not playing Blood Bowl, he's been better off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not, no, you know, not that. Like, I think it's I think it's nice that like you know people like him and Chunt are trying to play Blood Bowl and stuff. But yeah, especially with Skaven and. Uh, the not playing Blood Bowl is, is a lot more effective sometimes, isn't it? A lot of the time, yeah. I'd say. And he was doing well. Um, yeah. And the thing was, he didn't really fully commit to the playing Blood Bowl either. Yeah. yeah. Iron Man. I get he's I'm going for the win. He must be. He's going for the win. Slay, I guess. I don't even. Yeah. I, I don't even. I personally don't even like taking all the block. If it's me, I left one player in the middle. Yeah. I left one player in the middle and run every and just gone for the quick score and go for the win. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least. Not. I hadn't been asked to do all the blocking. <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah, that sense. Nice running around, yeah. <laughs> Good over the block, glorious. Wrestle got a move up. Wow, Hiru might be feeling a little bit aggrieved at this point. He's d he's dies me one more than one. I think it's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, was was it Hiru that dies me when we were supposed to win uh, the the split split team thing? Oh yeah, I think it was yeah. And he, and again in um, in the NAF, uh, in the NAF kickoff one was hero as well. Oh, there you go, absolute dice lord. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the NAF teams. I, I'm still not sad, but it's a bit. It's a, it's a bit sad that we never won that, isn't it? <laughs> team Wales. <laughs> what a team that was. Fuck me. Yeah. But if we're saying that, what a team it was. Me and PC lost nearly every game, and it was just you. It was just you winning them all, wasn't it? <laughs> until the only game where, where, until the last round where. Yeah. Oh. Wait, I thought that was wrestler. Oh, that's a stripper, not the wrestler. Is yeah. the wrestler? Well, it wasn't he? I was doing have a wrestler. Block. Oh yeah, the wrestler's doing oh, the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was why he was setting the wrestler up. Oh, that was a different one, Dimmy. Yeah, the other one, the Team England. One. Yeah, oh, I don't even know what that tournament was, the one with Team England. But yeah, we were a bit greedy, weren't we? We were a bit greedy on that one. Because um, you like you put out a team in an order. So I was like, let's put out the same order every time. And then we'll <laughs> switch it, like when we're playing somebody good. And uh, <laughs> and then we had to win the last game. So I'm like, I think we should switch it now. And... Uh, you know, because we kind of had to win, and Rick's like, "No, nah, I'm going to be greedy one more round. We'll, we'll be greedy. We'll win this." <laughs> and then obviously we got counter picked on everybody and lost. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um... Oh, is he switching the other side? And off to the gutter. No, he's just he's just switching back. I played a t played like a three man team tournament one point where I think we ended what strategy was that the other team could pick who won who got to play me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and then the rest could figure it out from there. Yeah, well, we let everybody pick us. Like, so everyone got counterpicked on the team. But and it was funny because, like, uh, I think Chunter or Seabros, one of them was like, I think it was Chunter and Seabros were on the same team. I don't know, but it, I think it was like a rest of the world team. Well, no, it must have been yeah. Seabros would be in Denmark, wouldn't he? So I, yeah, it was. Did. So it was either Seabros. I think it might have been Seabros actually. And he was like, uh, he kept talking about like how, how clever he was that he'd, he'd seen what we were doing and he'd counterpicked us. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, we were doing that on purpose because we thought we'd beat you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we didn't. <laughs> kind of deserved then. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Like, I, I, I said to change, I said to change, and Rick's like, nah, we, nah, let's keep doing it, let's keep doing it. Because it would have paid off, like, he's right, because it would have paid off bigger, right, if we'd done it for one more round. So I, yeah. I quite like the idea of, of doing it, but I, I, I thought, since we have to win, let's just try and win this one. But yeah, it was... I liked the idea, but it was, it was my... I, like, I thought of the strategy, which, which, you know, didn't work out, and then Rick... Rick held on to it, which didn't work out. So you know, not not trying to shift blame to Rick, but uh, you know, it was it was it was pretty greedy to do it in the game that we had to win just to be counterpicked. <laughs> but there you go. So yeah, we didn't get through the group. Thanks for reminding me, Dimmy. But um, you can't win them all, can you? At the end of the day. I remember the Blitz Pit one much better because I you know I thought. I thought we were going to win. I thought we were going to win. Uh, uh, that that was my fault at the end of the day, you know, the last game. Um, the, the game that KFOG finally lost, PC won. And, uh, and I lost, so, yeah. Yep. Oh, nice little chain. Obviously not so good hitting without... Oh, no, I was going to say not hitting without tackle, but he has got tackle, so, yeah, really nice. Really nice. Got to stand this guy up first, though, Hero. Come on. Turn ordering. I wonder if... Is he going to... Uh, he's going... Is he actually planning to get through that gap to make more pressure? God, he cast. He cast. What is this game? <laughs> Jesus. He's got to, uh, his, like, stand here or somewhere, hasn't he? One, two, three, yeah. Four. Do you geify to there? Or there? There, right? Because then he's got a 5 plus, uh, 4 plus 2 plus through. Whereas here he 3 plus 2 pluses, so I think it might be worth the geify. Oh, yeah. he doesn't. Oh, well. But it's. I don't. Surely this guy is running down the side then. I don't know. He had, like, turn 1, he could have taken all the space in the world instead of yeah. hitting everyone. But so he's going for it I now, prefer right? even yeah, yeah. Yeah, even if I he can yeah. But even if I even if I didn't want to score turn two, I've still taken the space and been fighting with the back to his end zone instead of the back to my own end zone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now he's making the play. Uh, yeah. Now he needs to. Now the dwarfs is kind of inviting him so much he cannot say no this time. Yeah. And he, he also have too few players left, I think. Yeah. Ugh, disgusting. I hate it when rats roll three pluses. Like, I mean, you expect all of the gut runs to make all the dodges, <laughs> uh, uh, but when the uh, bloody line uh, rats do, oh, grinds my gears. <laughs> oh my god, another KO! What a crazy uh, game this is! It was not just a KO, it was a red dice KO. Yeah, yeah, red dice KO, yeah. Fuck oh. me. <laughs> god. you really got to protect that runner next turn, Hiru. <laughs> He could get that runner removed and, and be 1-1 one, one without a runner. That would be pretty horrendous, wouldn't it? Oh. Oh, man. Seven dwarfs. <laughs> Snow White nowhere to be seen. Oh, dear. No, oh, why is it in the commentary booth? <laughs> Way. 
looking down and all the, at the seven dwarves. <laughs> You can install one turn more if he gets a knockdown on the Garda. Yeah. Which you probably want to take by now because um, that, that go for it makes that harder. It does. But not too much harder, right? I mean, you might not want to stall anyway, right? You might just want to bang it in and then that gives. Yeah, it's about now. Mm. You don't want to give the dwarves too many turns either. Yeah. Kind of one score like midway, I think. Is that another? It is! I mean, that was fully deserved because he just gave that a hit up for no reason. But still. It's still pretty lucky, yeah. <laughs> six removed. Just, <laughs> just the fact goals. that you have to roll 10 plus, 9 plus. Yeah, yeah. How many times? And like a 4 plus as well, right, to knock him over nearly. So, yeah. yeah pretty ridiculous. Was, uh, this is almost as fun as when. Was it a PC um, pits clear the orc team with his dwarves? <laughs> in, in like a chalice, I think it was. Nice. I think there was like 10 KO'd orcs or something, or something ridiculous. This is the problem with making these blocks, right? These blockless blocks. And I know it's a double score. Yeah, but I like, hadn't taken that one. If you're going in, which you were, because he blitzed he blitzed that guy and not the other one. Like, if he blitzed the other one, he could have he could have cleared everything and still kept it screen. Oh, but it looks like it's good dwarf KOs, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really good Only one KOs. back. Only, and there was a runner. So. Yeah, 9v9. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I'd still uh, take 9 versus 9 if I was gave it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, only 5 turns for the dwarves to score? That's yeah. not great, is it? And it, it's one of those where it entices you as well, isn't it? Like, if you're dwarves and you've got 3 turns to score, then you don't even try and you hang on for the 1 yeah. 1, right? But when you've got 5 turns, you feel like, oh, well, I'll do a couple of GFIs and try and score. And that's when you double 1 and lose, isn't it? So, yeah. This is pretty decent for the rats. Especially if they get a deep cake again with the cake, the gut cake, right? Yep. Uh, what, no. No. What is that? Strip. Uh, oh, it's strip ball. Strip leader, thing. guard, mighty. Uh, and guard, 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 guard. <laughs> and plus AV. And, but he's going narrow again. No. Yeah. Put that blitz out of it. But who's friends with. Oh, friends with the ref. Um, the rats. The rats win the so, roll. Uh, hat. But they were, the rats never got caught anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> How no. many fouls with armor breaks was it? <laughs> a lot. Yeah, a lot. Foul, like, you must have fouled about five times. They always come back, except when they don't. Yeah. I mean, the rats came back, didn't they? The rats up to a full nine. <laughs> Say full, you know what I mean. But yeah, pretty lucky KOs from the dwarves. That could have that could have gone a lot worse for them, couldn't it? Imagine, imagine if only one of the four had come back instead of one staying out. They'd be really, really in trouble. Liz. This is looking mostly okay. But it's also, but also pretty crazy to make that many. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, get for sure. Scored. For sure, crazy, absolutely crazy dice. Yeah. So it's like if you, it's if you just gave and I can understand you annoyed to coming back but it's like yeah <laughs> I hate this guy going here because he, the the ball could have gone there anything. right yeah he's not doing it. he was we've down the pickup and that but it's like he could have the ball could have gone up to here and he could have had like a full X cage couldn't he including that guy so he's down a square from where he could be with like you know another player Further, further behind to, that needs yeah, to get he's also to making him. a bigger gap between his uh, line of scrimmage and his cage. Yeah, which is just going to instantly get attacked. Yeah. Just going to delay 
to make it awkward, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. well. And more than delaying, we're going all in, instantly. Yeah. Yeah. But if that's the thing, if if they have, if, if you want to beat them, you need to force the dwarf to have a bad turn, right? Yep. If you just lead the dwarf marching down by now, with. Oh yeah, well, let's see if he gets as punished again. Yeah, yeah. At least he's uh, at least he's like the gutters are on blitzers, right? So yeah, he puts them both on. Once once you put one on, you kind of got to put the other one on, haven't you? So yeah, all yeah. in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then Spicy. Those layers out. But, I mean, this is uh, this is, doesn't seem too hard to deal with, but we shall see. He's just holding his ground, isn't he, by the looks of this. Which... <laughs> Not both downing! Ooh! Not both down there. <laughs> KO, flip me! It is every time he's uh, he's trying to make a difference. <laughs> yeah. See now, yeah. now the problem is he can't follow here. He could like he, he could have just chosen the boat down there. Yeah. And then he could have powered him and followed, and then. And then generally, you didn't really want to step away from. Yes. Yeah, You're but... also going the wrong way. Like, yeah. There was no reason. Yeah, maybe a misclick. I mean, it's been a misclick, couldn't it? I mean, that's the thing, people. People do misclick. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did also the other day. Did my first day in Blood Bowl Tree. Dodge away from a guy I couldn't see behind my tree. Oh, the classic Inarian strats. <laughs> That's quite nice because otherwise the the uh, oh it's still a frenzy trap, but still better to do it that way, I think. Yeah. I guess he saw the guard above his dwarf and thought his dwarf had guard, because that's exactly what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now you have that thing where you cannot really step up, but because you got guard, one, yeah. four, five, six, seven, and his guard is too far away. Yeah, it should be all right. You just stay, and it's fine. Or at least in theory, fine. Yeah. I mean, you could have also followed up probably as well, right? If you'd followed up, it would have needed a 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. G5, just so it would have still been hard to run all the way Reroll! Okay, he had 3, but still, that's spicy. That's a spicy reroll with uh, 3 turns left to score. And, you know, potentially ball carrier dodges or GFIs required. That was a very spicy 1B. It's a 2 plus. Yeah, it was the last the action of the turn. Is, the last spicy part is reroll. The spicy part is the reroll. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You definitely like, take hit. the block. Yeah, oh yeah, it's fine. Take the one, two plus block. Hit either, right? E either hitting either one is fine. Obviously, more likely to knock over the uh, armor seven guy. Yeah. Um, and uh, and yeah, stunning him as well, which will be huge. Yeah, but like just knocking away the the mighty blow would have been all right. Like you know, pushing the mighty blow guy away would have been fine. But just you can't re-roll it. No, I don't. I mean, I, I don't think you can re-roll it personally. Well, there we go. There's the one D. And if that had been a power, That's another one D. Oh, well, what there you the go. F is going on? Yeah, so I thought I think if if he got the power there, he would have maybe tried to get this guy out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. Yeah. So I think that the player was to power him and then get this guy around. That's a five. That's again betting on the five plus. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he should just played it safe and gone for the draw. But I'm then not, this I'm was getting. You know, a turn. This gives you win chances, doesn't it? But yeah, yeah, maybe I wait one more turn. I don't yeah. like it. It's, this is. 
and you didn't even get your guard up. So like, if ever the dwarves have a chance to win it, it's now. Yeah, yeah, you've let him off the hook. Yeah, for for free. Yeah. Now that yeah. If the guard blitzers can go fits with running up in that gap. Yes. But oh. are, are you away from your microphone, Carl? <laughs> No, no. Oh, okay. Is you like you? You? It sounded like you'd just gone to the loo or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, it's fine. It's no, just... fine now. Yeah, that was that was weird, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that was there was too much to lose there, was... wasn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't like the. Um, just as PC, go for it. Never fails. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was. Like obviously That's the payoff was kind impressive. of big, right? He had the he had the gut yeah. runner and stuff, but like yeah, maybe it just let off the Skaven. Like the Skaven were in. Okay. Uh, sorry, the dwarves were in quite a lot of trouble, yeah. and that kind of left them off the hook for free. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that either. One <laughs> freaking bit. Oh, you lose. This guy goes losing through. a movement. Yeah. Now rerolling that skull, I quite like. If you hadn't already used the reroll last turn, right? Yeah. That would have been a very worthy one because then if you push him away, you get the 2D here and then you deal with everything. So that 1D was totally worth uh, rerolling, but um, yeah, oof. Oof. Mm. Were, you, were you supposed to blitz with the trolls there? Uh, fuck knows. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've, I think I've been blitzing. The, 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 the leader with that guard and just running everyone up in the middle of that guard's hell. Yeah. Instead of running on the outside. Yeah. Get central. Just being central is good, isn't as well, isn't it? Unless you go either way and stuff. Oh. Like I know it, it gets him further away from these guys, but I, I think I would still want to try and be central just because dwarves are so slow. Like. At least the good news for him is he cannot one dice again with the guy that keeps rolling cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, safe from himself. Now we just have, now we just have to push, him, stand him up. <laughs> I can surely not go wrong. Yeah, this is the problem though, right? This is the problem that the dwarves have is because now, like, yeah, the 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 runner's okay, but the support isn't there, is it? And that that blitzer who like ran back on the first turn. Yeah. You know, if he'd just been a few, you know, if he'd had a blitzer here this turn, yeah. um, it'd make all the difference. You really do need every point, every point okay. of movement from like your helpers. But that dodge, okay, it tags the it ball, but now it lead, lets him free players in the middle, doesn't it? Which is yeah. Um, and if that, if the longbeard with no guard blocks and get a pow, then it free. Ooh, that's bad. See, yeah. if you had an extra reroll, you could have rerolled that to free up an extra player. Yeah. Also, he could have done the blitz with this guy first, right? Well, before he yeah. made that block, he could have gone one, two, three, four, and then done the fifth okay. hit there. It's also a bit unlucky. Keep rolling um, pushes with those <laughs> players that have nothing. Yep. <clears throat> that might be a problem. Yeah. Is this guy going to double GFI? No, he can double GFI. But... No, he's... Just potato. That's all there is to it, isn't there? Yeah. I would. No, you cannot even. You cannot even touch that long beard because you cannot let that. Those two have a one versus two. Yeah. Can you assist and still score? But a block with the gather? It's really risky, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's only a one that because you of could. the gather. Yeah, no, it's not worth it, is it? You cannot do it. If it's not been a guard, I think it might have been worth it. Yeah, just run, just run, Shit. just potato away. <laughs> he, he made a mess of this turn. He was also mm -hmm. unlucky, but I don't think he, the priorities was good. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I feel like it would have been a lot better to have uh, blitzed with the other guy first and then the guard would have been up here and then you just have more stuff here where the ball was going to be it would have helped and again if you have more rerolls then you take the two die uphill on the non-blogger yeah to just get a better position yeah and you take the one die side in the bottom because it's fine if yeah. you have more than one reroll yeah 
for you spunked it away. Because <laughs> if that the two die uphill with reroll is like ten percent to go wrong. Yeah. When you got block. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? So I mean do you just You just dodge and dodge, dodge really? Dodge and dodge, yeah. Doesn't look to be anything clever, does there? I don't think you could try, but I don't think it's worth it. It's hard to make fabricate anything better than just three plus. Oh, it just does the one D. This is uh, greedier, isn't it? Because now you've got the counter score. Oh my god! So there is the counter score possibility. <laughs> is it? Oh my god! He, ca he catches. <laughs> 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 Well, <laughs> well, well, okay. Well. Uh, that does solidify it as a one-one draw, though, because now obviously yeah. Olivier cannot score. And yeah, why follow? Good question, Dimmy. Um, the answer is probably just habit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it could definitely also, wasn't right, was it? Also, argue the draw should have made a go for it to be able to score even on a knockdown. Yes. Yeah, that's a good shout. <laughs> and another draw. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> what a crazy game, the amount of removals. Like, obviously you kind of expect it to happen to the Skaven, but like, the amount of removals on the Dwarf team is... If you look at, the, if you look at that Dwarf thing, you cannot, it doesn't make sense, this is 1-1. One, one. <laughs> no! No! Wow. What a crazy game. <laughs> Jesus. That's like that's looking at my normal wood elf damage. <laughs> that's what I'm used to. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Flip me. Hey Oliver. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> oh dear. Hello. I wouldn't say that was a crazy game, wasn't it? Flip me. What a crazy game. <laughs> That's it. That was <laughs> and uh, do you like the do you like the summary screen, uh, Carl? <laughs> That's it. Just, what is that? Just a running goblin. That's what you see. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, also, like whatever you. One in X games, I get like a connection loss when the game is done, and you, you're thinking back to the lost games of Blood Bowl 2 every time. Oh, yeah, yeah, classic. Classic Blood Bowl 2, flip me. Wow, that was <laughs> that was something else, that game, wasn't it? <laughs> that was what we said. You were better off not playing Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah, that's the. That's. That's, uh. That's rats, isn't it? The 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 sitting not playing Blood Bowl was went great, <laughs> and then the effort, then the like, oh, I'll play Blood Bowl for a turn, was an absolute disaster. <laughs> Flip me. Well, yep. Um, right. Well, there you go. That's. I, I guess that's the end of the YouTube video. So. I mean, I can, I can, I can do that. I'll, I'll let, let me, let me update the table here. Um, there's not a lot we can say, can it? It was, it was certainly crazy in terms of, uh, in terms of dice and that. One. <laughs> the team, the team is getting absolutely. Uh, it looked for a bit like it would be a dull game, but then it went absolutely haywire fun. Yeah, it was so weird, wasn't it? Yeah, they started. It started off like the the rogue had just died. And it's like, oh god, this is just going to be a massacre, and then. Yeah, then so many removals, and then, uh, and then, yeah, like things could have happened, couldn't they? Things could have definitely gone differently. But uh, I thought it was a very, a very entertaining game. Thank you very much. Lots of gobs. And uh, here we go. I'll put the tables on. Um, right there we go. There's table B. Uh, uh, Olivier's point there <laughs> means that Art is now clear bottom, but he's only played one game. To be fair. And uh, Cruz and Hiru, both with two dwarves. You know, Hiru 
dwarves, it's hard to win for them, isn't it? And then, you know, Crusoe's like battled for, for draws with humans not being, you know, maybe so good. Um, and now we've got Sol versus Art as the only game left for the Group B, which, you know, could put Sol clear at the top and Art clear at the bottom. Or, you know, Art could win and then it would be, or the whole group would be ridiculously tight. So, um, super, super interesting. Martin Olbeach is a uh, rolling flat to uh, not uh, I will also help him with the one point not being completely lost. Yep. Yep. And oh, I hadn't put the four and against for Olivia, but it's one four and three against for Olivia. I just hadn't updated that in time. Never mind. It's hard to do it live. Um, right, it was a great game. Yeah, it was a great game. I thought, like you know, maybe uh, maybe Artemis will complain about how how good the play was, but I thought it was a very entertaining game. Yep, lots of fun, and uh, and great having the man, the myth, the legend, Corfu back in the booth. Amazing, glorious to have you back in the Blood Bowl. Well, Blood Bowl three, obviously, never been never away from Blood Bowl, are you? <laughs> Yeah, not really. <laughs> and, uh, yep, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.